Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for joining us. My name is Matt with 1836 Property Management. This is your Austin Real Estate Investors update for the 20th of November, 2017. Thanks for joining us today. You may have noticed that we've been out a couple weeks. Who knew there was a correlation between getting the flu shot and not getting the flu? So um, one thing I would add to your calendar if you haven't already done so is get the flu shot. It was 12 days being down and it was not pleasant. So uh, priorities first, take care of your health and safety. Second thing I want to share with you is that showings have changed, and this is a really good, good sign. In October, for everyone in Austin, whether it was sales, whether it was leasing, management, showings were pretty much non-existent. Therefore, properties were not moving, and that's not good for you guys as consumers. And so November, first week, we noticed that showings started picking up, and they've continued throughout the month. We're getting properties leased now because we're having people see the properties, and things are back kind of on track. We do, of course, crush cross-reference the uh, numbers within our company to those with the entire MLS. We have friends that are brokers locally. We talk to a lot of people. We're out in the community. And so we know when it's an anomaly with a single property with our company or with the community. And to be honest, there's really not many anomalies with our company versus the MLS because we're doing some basic similar practices. And then we're doing a lot more internally at 1836 to get your properties leased. So good news to find out that was confirmed, but uh, even better news to find out that properties are leasing and moving now. The big news for the month of November that I want to share with you is something to do with self-directed showings. Now, self-directed showings have been out there in the leasing and sales landscape for about three or more years at this point. To be completely honest, this is something that as the owner of the company I have been concerned with and avoided. It's not because there was ever data that showed that it was the wrong thing to do. It was because there wasn't sufficient data to make a good decision. Now, about three or more years into this, there's three major players in the industry that permit people, or if you would, the younger generations, to ID themselves, swipe a credit card, go through a series of questions as qualifiers, and then possibly receive either a key to show the property on their own, or uh, possibly set up an appointment with a showing agent. Now, every owner has the same fear. Are people gonna get into my property, destroy it, and or steal something? And I got to tell you, it's a founded fear. I, I feel the exact same way as an investor. I would be concerned. The big thing to remember is that if somebody has the intent of actually going into your property to steal something, the first thing they're not going to do is share their identity with you, whether it's through a driver's license or a credit card. That's just kind of basic one-on-one, even for crooks and criminals. The other thing is, is that if they're really there to steal something, whether it's your stove or your microwave, it's probably attached to the property itself because we don't do this on any occupied properties and the property has to be completely vacant. So far at 1836, we don't even do furnished showings. So uh, we don't do furnished rentals at all. And so it's gonna be for an empty property. They're, they're not gonna steal the range because if that was their intent, they would simply just show up at night, not ID themselves and kick the door in. So nationally, this has been been something that's been rolled out for a few years. It's been tested. There have been a few incidents of problems nationwide. One that I know of in Austin of, of all the people that use this on all the properties they use. And it was an incident that occurred with a tenant actually giving money to someone who was acting as the manager but had nothing to do with the property. So it didn't hurt the owner, didn't hurt the property, didn't hurt the property manager, uh, but it did affect the tenant. So to combat that, we're actually going to put signage inside the property so that the tenants are fully aware of who manages the property and hopefully they won't get scammed. This is something we're going to start uh, with a small rollout on, specifically the properties that are further out from the city center, and we're going to expand this. It's only, again, on unoccupied properties that are vacant and ready, and people do have to ID themselves, go through a series of qualifying questions, and then we can actually ask those direct people for feedback through text messages, things like that. So it's going to help us aggregate the showings uh, to one source eventually, and it's going to help us get a lot more feedback for you guys as owners because when you text a tenant who's physically in a property, they're going to be happy to tell you whether it stinks, whether it's great, whether it needs new carpet or paint, and what their likes and dislikes are anonymously versus begging an agent who's not making any money on it to give you some feedback when they've just shown 10 properties and have no idea who you are or what property you represent. So I think it's going to be better for you in the long term. Again, we're going to start this on a small basis, um, but since we did have such a tough month comprehensively in October, we want to stay at the forefront of the industry. And we've got to do some things to make sure we stay there. We're not the first to use this. We did kind of hold back on it. We're certainly not the last to use it, but uh, it's, it's a big change in the industry. This is going to have some effects, whether people use Zillow, whether they use the MLS, where the data is aggregated, and all that's going to play out. We've got some great ideas on how it's going to function for us. 
the company we chose, Tenant Turner, is actually going to be uh, embedded in our property management software by December or January, which is really interesting for us because that software services tens of thousands of property management companies nationwide. So it's obviously not new, but it's new to us and it's going to be good for you guys as consumers because the millennials or younger generations don't want to talk to an agent, don't want to be pressured, but they want to see a house and they want to make a decision on Sunday. Now, the other service behind this is something that I'll share with you next week. Um, it's a company called Virtually Incredible, and it will expand our hours in which we can respond to tenants. But we'll save that for you for the next weekly update. It's good news, all positive, but it's going to take a little while to get integrated and make sure it's seamless. So appreciate you guys reaching out to us. Again, properties are moving once again. If we can do anything for you here in Austin or to deal with your investment properties in Central Texas, please don't hesitate to give us a call. 512-994-4323. Thanks as always for giving us your time and attention. Thanksgiving is this week, so uh, we certainly appreciate you guys as clients and customers and uh, want to give our thanks to you. If we can do anything for you, we're here to support you. Uh, we love you and want the best for you, so just let us know how we can collaborate to make that happen. Have a great day. Happy and safe Thanksgiving.